This is a brief introduction to MATLAB. What we're going to do first of all is create a new folder and uh, we're going to put our MATLAB files into this folder. Uh, what we're going to do is uh, open up this folder and then what I, you can also open up MATLAB and create a new file, MATLAB file, a .m file. I'm just going to create that from a text file. Just rename the extension from .txt to .m. Go ahead and click yes here. I'm going to ask you if you want to change it. Um, then I'm going to double click on this file. It's going to open up MATLAB and uh, also open up my file editor. What I'm going to do is just do a hello world um, application and run that and just show that uh, it produces hello world there at the command prompt. And then you can also see the variable over on to the right, the answer. If you double click that, it brings up hello world. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is, is um, just go ahead and edit this script, show a couple of things with MATLAB. This is intended to be a very brief introduction. You have some comments. If you use the percent sign, you can uh, create a comment and it will turn it green. Okay, so that's uh, comments. You also want to clear any prior session when you start. Uh, just use CLC, clear all, and then close all. And that will clear the screen variables and trends. Uh, also, let's just look at the version that we have. That will also list the toolboxes. Uh, if you need any help, you can use the help and then uh, try to guess the function name. You can also find uh, you know, resources on the internet. I'm just going to create a new variable now, uh, b equals 0 0.5. So that's just the basic how to create a variable. I'm going to create a random matrix of 10 by 4. And uh, just with the rand uh, function, you can use a semicolon to suppress any output. Um, now, if you want to display a variable, you can do, use the disp function. Uh, what I'm going to do now is just compute the average for each column that's with the mean function and also the standard deviation that's with the std function. Um, you can also use the max or min values. Okay, now um, if we want to compute the average over all the data, I'm going to create a new variable avg and then you've got to do the mean function twice on that. It does columns first and uh, next one is if statement. So this is an if uh, the average is greater than 0.5, go ahead and print out that you're over 0.5. And if it's exactly equal to 0.5, go ahead and just indicate 0.5. Um, and then less than, the last option is less than 0.5. Okay, so we have an if statement. Now we want to show a for loop as well. Uh, just a basic for loop, doesn't do anything exciting. Uh, but just have an index i iterating between 1 and 10 and uh, just add up a number. Okay, so i sum is going to increment and then we display that uh, below. Now here's also a function and we're also going to get into the function. Um, now we're going to call i sum just let's have this function add 2 to any variable that we put into the function. Okay, so uh, x is going to be our input, y is going to be the output, and then we're just going to add 2 to that and, uh, and then get our, that in the result. Now I'm going to also create a trend uh, with the first column of data. Okay, let me run this. I'm just going to run it in debug mode. Just step through this. If to add a debug or a, a breakpoint, just select F12 at that point, um, and then you can step through it by hitting F5. Uh, F10 and F11 will step you through it. There's our version there in MATLAB. There are toolboxes listed, for example. Now I'm going to do a help function, help on max. And I've got to scroll up just a little bit. Um, it'll also give me a couple of links um, there at the bottom. And if I select one of those links, I can see some related functions. That's a lot of times how I find uh, functions. Um, okay, so I'm just going to step through now, just hitting F10 as I go through. And uh, so I'm going to display that matrix. There's my mean values for each column. There's standard deviation, max, and min. And then I also have average as well. There's my if statement as I go through it. It's going to be greater than 0.5. Here's my loop. Now you're going to see it loop through this uh, as the increment. Uh, if you look over in the workspace, as you keep looping through there, you can see those values increment as well. Okay, and then I have my result, and that's going to be my function. I'm going to go into my function, and then add 2 to my isum, and then let's go ahead and just plot um, that first column of random numbers. Okay, so there's my plot. Okay, so you can also run the script just by entering in the name of the script without the .m, and it will run it for you, not in debug mode. 
Okay, so that uh, concludes this tutorial demonstration uh, with MATLAB. It's meant to just be an introduction to MATLAB uh, for additional files and visit apmonitor.com.